Our Decision 2024 coverage continues now here at 8 p.m. The polls closed in North Carolina 30 minutes ago. For the most part, yeah. the results are now starting to trickle in. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Deborah Morgan. And I'm Gerald Owens. Our team coverage continues at this half hour with coverage of the state's top races and analysis of the results that matter to you. And while the polls have been closed, one Wilson County precinct just closed literally a few minutes ago, or rather closing right now at 8 o'clock straight up. A printer issue caused a delay in voting this morning that led to extended voting times at this location by 30 minutes. Now, if you are in line, even if you were in line at 730, it's very possible that some precincts are still open um, and they are accepting people to come in and vote if you are in line by the time that the poll was supposed to close. WRL's Grace Haba is live at the Gardner School Precinct in Wilson County. Grace, boy, a lot of confusion out there and uh, it, it's still a lot of people who want to hear, want their voices to be heard there in Wilson County. Deborah, that's exactly right. Confusion is honestly the best way to describe that, and it actually has continued even here in the past 15 minutes. Now, just a couple minutes after we were live with you for the 7.30 half hour, we turned around because one of the poll workers came out and made an announcement that the polls here had closed at, or at 7.30. A lot of people obviously in line who had heard us reporting and had followed online and knew that it actually closed at 8 instantly were confused. I walked over straight to him and asked, where did he hear that? He pointed me inside so that I walked inside through the line, asked the woman inside where she heard that, and she said that it came straight from the Wilson County Board of Elections Director, Tasha Bell. And so she got her back on the phone and said, wait, isn't it eight o'clock? And Bell said, yes, it is eight o'clock. So then another announcement was made that reassured people here in line that yes, polls do close here at eight o'clock. So again, that confusion definitely continued here even in the last 20 minutes. And we were glad that we were here to hear that and to get things settled because a lot of people were instantly worried that they would not be able to cast their ballot. Now, two minutes ago here in Wilson County in Elm City at Gardner Elementary School, the polls did officially Close. It was the last location here in North Carolina where people were able to cast their ballots. And as Gerald mentioned earlier, this all happened because earlier this morning from about 6.40 to 8.07 a.m., workers were unable to print authorization to vote forms. Now, what should have happened, according to the North Carolina Board of Elections, is poll workers should have switched to a manual backup option. But for some reason, they're still not sure why that did not happen. So the result was a lot of people had to leave, go to work and made it back here uh, for the most part that we know of to vote here before polls did close at 8 p.m. But again, wrapping up Election Day here in Wilson County, a lot of confusion at this polling site. Grace, do you feel like everybody who wanted to vote did get a chance to vote there in Wilson County where you are? It did seem like a lot of people who were out here earlier, Deborah, made a point to come back out. Now, one woman did voice concern that there may have been a couple people who were unable to. And on that call, uh, the Board of Elections folks were kind of debating how long to extend voting time here or if to extend it all. And one member even mentioned, well, if it's only a couple people, do we need to extend it? And one woman said she's very glad that they did, even by 30 minutes, to give every single person who was supposed to vote here the opportunity to come out and have their voices heard. They're very well, important. Hopefully that is what happened too. Yeah. All right, Grace, thank you.